all of those other molecules we talked about are called aliphatics. Aliphatics are chained, whether they be straight chained or put into cyclos, where they have single, double, or triple bonds. Those are called aliphatics. Then there are aromatics, and aromatics have as their important molecule, central molecule you could say, a benzene ring which is C6H6. Now C6H6, when you draw it in a circle, looks like this. You got this, and then you got one hydrogen coming off of every one of these points. And that means that there are alternating multiple bonds. What would you call that? Okay, you don't want to know what it is? You got to start, if you're going to start the first carbon, you can't start it there unless you go that way for the second carbon because one of the multiple bonds has to be between the first and the second carbon. So one, two, three, four, five, six, which means that there are multiple bonds starting at the one, the three, and the five. It's a cyclo and a hex, but there's enes at the one, three, five. Cyclohexa one, three, five, triene for the three enes. Cyclohexa one, five, three, five, triene. Nobody wants to say that. So therefore, we call that benzene. There we go. And benzene actually can be also drawn like this. This thing here, but because this also has resonance structure, right, when we do a Lewis diagram, and the multiple bonds don't have to be here, here, and here, they could be here, here, and here, we have Zwischenstufe taking over here, which is resonance, and so therefore, we abbreviate that resonance by actually just putting a circle in the middle and going, yeah, yeah, pull the electrons and swim them all around a place in those multiple bonds, and there we go. That's a nice way to draw benzene. This is becoming more, actually, you know what? Nobody used to draw this. Everybody used to draw this, and now they're going back to this kind of thing when we put substitutions on it. So here's the deal. Either one, you're going to see. Okay, as long as you know that the alternating multiple bond hex structure is a C6H6 called benzene. Now, if you put a branch on that, what do you call that? Well, that would be called methyl benzene. And if you actually took it and did that, well, there's an ethyl on a benzene. So that would be ethyl benzene. Now, I told you, scientists don't like to do that anymore with a circle and then put the substitution on it. Okay, fine. Now, what if you actually had something like that? What would you call that? That's a trimethyl benzene. But do you have to say where the branches are? Yeah, you do. Because couldn't you actually put a branch here? That would be branches at the what? Oh, be careful. If you go one, and then two, three, four, five, six, one, three, six, that ain't the lowest numbers possible. How about this way? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that sounds like the lowest po numbers possible. One, two, and four. Yep. And then starting here, if you went one, three, four, that still wouldn't be the lowest. So one, two, four trimethylbenzene for that one, and this one would be one, two, three trimethylbenzene. So you have to be careful of those polysubstituted uh, substituent groups onto a benzene ring. Let's do some more of those because they're kind of cool. And some of them have common names that you need to know. All of these benzene rings in this, these diagrams here are C6H, well, they're not C6H6s anymore because you pulled off an H to put on a branch of CH3. So this would actually be C6H4CH32. But this would also be, and this would also be, they're isomers of each other. So what are these isomers here of this molecule, which is really C6H4CH3 in brackets 2, 3 times over? Well, this is methyls on the 1 and the, whoops, how about this instead? The 1 and the 2, here's methyls at the 1 and the 3, and here's methyls at the 1 and the 4. When you have two substitutions on a benzene ring, it's called a di-substituted benzene ring, and they have kind of common names to be able to ascribe the 1, 2, 1, 3, and 1, 4 positions. When you have branches in the 1, 2 position, and only, and by the way, these, these names I'm going to give you only apply now to when you have only two substitutions. Two substitutions here is O dimethyl benzene. These two are methyls here, methyl here and methyl here, and they're at the 1, 2 position. You can call that O for ortho. Ortho, like as an orthodontist who keep, puts your teeth close together, right, with braces. Like in the 1-2 position, close together. <laughs> okay. Now, what about the 1-3 position? That's M-dimethylbenzene. Same thing here. M stands for the 1-3 position, which is meta. 
meta, like as in uh, meta, like a metaphor, because one plus three is four. Ah, 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 ah. So the carbon position here is one, and the, this is the second carbon, the third carbon in the ring, the one and the three. One three dimethyl is called M dimethyl benzene. And what would this one be called? Hey, but let's put the, make these CLs. Well, what are you going to call that now? Well, the chloros are in the one four position, and so the one four position is called the P. And that's, that would be P-dichlorobenzene here. P for para, as in para, I don't know, para something. Paradox, para, no, if it was paradox, it would actually be uh, PhD, PhD, right? Because there's a doctor, doctor, and that would be a paradox. <laughs> no, okay, so the point is, <laughs> that would be when you put the CLs on there, that would be a dichloro, 1,4-dichlorobenzene or a P-dichlorobenzene.